Hey there, I'm JD, host of Tech Planet, and I was kind of getting bored of the typical desktop mouse, so I decided to build a real working hover mouse. Now, it's only prototype version 1, so it consists of multiple pieces. The first being a gyration air mouse, which works everywhere in the air. And then it also consists of two superconductors. And I built these housings. And basically, I looked at different forms of levitation, laser, acoustic, um, electromagnetic. But I came to the conclusion that superconductors would work best in this application. And another interesting thing is that if room temperature superconductors are ever invented, this would be quite revolutionary. And you would probably be able to have a hover mouse in your house. But anyways, the final piece is a 3D printed housing uh, for the overall mouse. Now, does it work everywhere? No, it does not. Um, it does require a magnetic pad. So it is a little bit expensive to build, but overall I'm pretty happy with it and I will be working on version 2 here pretty soon. So okay, so let's move on to the tutorial on how I actually built this thing. One of the first steps involved 3D printing a housing for the mouse. This proved to be a little bit tedious as I had to get the perfect measurements in order to fit the mouse and the two superconductors inside the housing. It ultimately took me several attempts in Tinkercad in order to make a working prototype which could properly fit the mouse while keeping a low center of gravity. And I would have liked to make it in Blender but I really suck at that program and Tinkercad can build 90% of the stuff out there that you want to 3D print so it works quite well. Another really neat thing is that the PLA filament took temperature fluctuations quite well so it can handle liquid nitrogen which is around minus 196 degrees celsius and it does not crack when built in thicker layers. This was a critical point of the build and it led to the design of the cryogenic containment units. The cryogenic units have to contain liquid nitrogen in order to cool the YBCO crystal down and actually get it to superconduct and levitate. They are probably the most important part of the build and they are built out of a salt and pepper shaker cap along with the inset PLA unit. So they are a dual wall unit with an embedded air barrier and this air barrier helps contain the liquid nitrogen and it keeps the superconductor cooled for a longer period of time roughly around 5 minutes, which is a lot longer than having an exposed cryogenic unit. The units have a hole at the top for nitrogen intake and ventilation, and ultimately I put a piece of styrofoam on the bottom to insulate it there, and eventually the units were glued together. Once the cryogenic units were finished, it was time to build the magnetic pad. And you have to have a magnetic pad in order to flux pin the Type 2 superconductor and get it to levitate. This was a bit of a guessing game, but I eventually found some designs for quantum levitating Mobius strips, and this helped me figure out how to orientate the magnets. The magnetic pad was ultimately built out of N52 grade 1 inch magnets, which were also quite expensive, so this build was a little bit overpriced for my liking, but anyways, it was finished with a carbon fiber adhesive on the top, and some lights and a cutting board were put in at the bottom in order to give it a dramatic effect. So what's it like? Well basically, it does feel pretty cool, and it feels like your hand is hovering in midair. It's kind of hard to explain the feeling. But ultimately this hover mouse does require more work because it likes to lean to one side once in a while. In conclusion, this project took a lot of hours to design and build, but I hope it shows a glimpse of the future, especially if practical room temperature superconductors are actually invented. And if that day finally comes, anybody can have a hover mouse. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you want to see more projects like this, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.